What's going on, everybody? We're gonna we're 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 back with Shades, and we're gonna continue our let's play of Legend of Heroes: Treasure of the Sky. God, it's been so long. Oh God, it's been so long that like I literally like came back to this game, and I'm like, what am I doing again? So I like literally had to like look at my the parts that I have uploaded, and then I was just like, okay, that's what I'm doing. So I had to look for Nial because he was he was hungry for a story. Uh, cause he couldn't interview the mayor, I believe. And now we're just, like, talking to him. Uh, I have to admit that, like, I really want to finish this game because I want to play the second chapter, and now I learned that there's a third on Steam. Ugh, god, I don't I don't want- I don't want to Ah, uh, I love this game, but god, there's just, like, uh, If it didn't want to be one game, it didn't want to be one game. It's fine. But I just want to get through this first one because I've played it already, and like I, I don't remember everything, but I remember most. I remember good enough, good, good amount. But like I just gotta get through this game, right? Anyway, let's do it. This ain't a joke, you know. Uh. Well, he found him, but he's drunk off his ass. We're having his article reject was having his art his article rejected that much, really that much of a shock to his system. He's acting like the man he is. Men are oh, pigs, after all. You're not wrong, Sherazad. You're not wrong. Though he seems to have forgotten that alcohol is a drink to be consumed, not to be dr not a drink to be consumed by. Nice. You're one to talk. Don't let just call you bottomless, Shara. Oh, please. Bottomless is much more su suitable for a woman like Aina. I, on the other hand, can hold my liquor. No matter how much I may drink, my face and disposition may remain unreddened. Don't you dare group, group a fun-loving drinker like myself into the same category as this crunk, clumsy lush. How come now? When you get drunk, you lose it completely, and everyone around you gets a heck of a show. Admit it. It's certainly true that Ina is like a bucket to share a sieve. But no matter how you look at it, they're both pretty bottomless. I'm sensing disrespect, children. Oh. Where am I? Oh, good, you're awake. Sort of. Drinking so much is not good for your health, you know. Sorry I'm le leaning back, it's just... When I lean forward a lot, I just get really tired really easily. Oh, my head. What the? You're the bracer trainee, aren't you? Oh my goodness, what the hell are you doing in Relent? I thought I made my way back to Bose. What are you mumbling about, you sponge? We are in Bose, and so are we. Oh, well, damn, don't scare me like that. Oh, and I see you got a lovely lass with you. The name's Sherazad Harby. The pleasure's all yours, I'm sure. Nice. I'm the mentor of these two. Sherazad. Are you the infamous Silver Streak by any chance? Oh, you humbled me, sir. I take it you've heard of me then? Only rumors, I'm afraid, but yes, I know your name. You're one of the top young braces, if I'm not mistaken. Which means you three are here to investigate the, in investigate the incident as well, I suppose. Oh, so you do have some brains left in there after all that booze. I'm impressed. You find anything out? We saw you by the mayor's house and you seem pretty troubled. <sighs> Damn, they saw that? Oh yeah, I was looking for clues and couldn't find any. That's what I figured. Damned army regulations on the spread of information really, really restrict what I'm able to learn anyway. If I try to consult General Morgan at the Hakan Gate directly, I'll be held up for inspection for who knows how long. So I figured I'd at least try to score an interview with the legendarily voluptuous mayor, but the maid turned me away outright. And top it all off, the useless girl kept screwing everything up. Everything! And great idios. Tell me what I did, I did to deserve this shabby life. Well, he did try to do an exclusive on the mayor's chest. But if you wanted information that ba badly, we might share some of ours with you. Huh? We're actually investigating the incident on Mayor Babel's behalf right now. So naturally we've met with the mayor and General Morgan too, for that matter. Holy crap. You're serious? Yep, totally. Score! And the goddess gets a point to blessed be the bounty of Idios. It's funny because Idios Mio means oh my god in Spanish. Please, I beg of you, tell me everything, every last detail. We'll be glad to, however. Aren't you forgetting something, Neal? Huh? <laughs> Information ain't free, you know. We'll scratch your back, but you need to scratch ours first. And not to get a look off your face, I to I totally do not mean that literally. You you want Mira or something? The research funds are long exhausted at this point, I'm sorry to say. We're not interested in your money. 
You just find it fascinating that you made your way to Boze right after this incident occurred. It seems like you might have heard something interesting yourself. That being the case... Ugh, here I thought you were a nice kid. Turns out like you're just a slimy little leech like me. I'll tell you what I know, but rest assured it's not big news by any stretch of the imagination. As long as it's related to the incident, no matter how trivial it may seem, I'll take it. Just don't be stingy. Give it to us straight, okay? Fine, fine, I'll tell you everything. I'm the honor as a newsman. Unfortunately, that statement is not good nowadays with fake news, like actual fake news nowadays. But this game was released back in the early 2000s, so I'll give him a pass. Get this cursor off my screen. I've got two clues to share, so if you're taking notes, I suggest you get out your pen and paper. We're ready whenever you are. Man, way to go, Joshua. You're on a roll. <laughs> well, if he ever gets tired of being a bracer, we know we'll have a bright future in racketeering with those skills. Racketeering is, uh, bartering. <laughs> I know that because I played Rasseteer, uh, which was a, I think, indie game or something like that, where you're a shopkeeper, and it's called Rasseteer based on the characters, and it's a pun on racketeering. The first clue is the form of eyewitness report from the village of Ravenu. I hate JRPGs always have to make puns out of names. Is that, is that a pun on Ravenu? To the west. I talked to a villager who just come to Boze for a visit, and she told me something very interesting. Apparently she knows a kid who saw a huge flying shadow overhead on the night over the, of the incident. A huge flying shadow overhead? Yup, airship, I told him. Maybe even that missing one. But the army checked it out and found absolutely nothing. Aw, oh, you meanie. You raised our hopes, only to dash him straight away. So you're saying somebody saw something, but it was probably unrelated to anything. That's what I'm saying. I warned you it wasn't big news. I went to a lot of trouble to get that sad morsel, too. And with that information, Bargo in place and all. Well done. Now, let's see the second clue of yours. Ugh, fine. The other thing I learned is that the military intelligence division is on the move. Hmm. <sighs> intelligence division? I've heard rumors about them. It's a new royally sanctioned branch of the army in charge of intelligence gathering and dissemination. That's the one, yeah. Supposedly they're so elite they can even stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the royal bodyguards. The man they put in charge, Colonel Rich, is apparently quite the whiz kid. With them on the case, they say this isn't as good as solved already. God, it got really bright outside all of a sudden. My lamps are not doing a good job of keeping me lit. Oh, God. It got really bright all of a sudden, didn't it? I'm trying, like, I have two fluorescent lamps. Like, like, working hard as they can to keep me lit. But Jesus Christ, it got really bright all of a sudden out there. I might have to walk my dog later. Hmm. Doesn't seem like your information will be much of use to us in our investigation. Oh, well, that's a shame. Sorry I couldn't help much on your end. But a promise is a promise. I scratched. Now it's your turn. Of course, a deal is a deal, after all. So, Joshua told me all about the incident in Roulette, as well as the information received from General Morgan. Kapuas? Sky Bandits? A rancid demand in the Royal House and the Airship Com Corporations? Good God, that's exactly what I needed. That's the missing link I've been killing myself to find. Caught your fancy, did I? Absolutely, I can definitely write my article now. I can't be wasting my time getting drunk here. I have to find Dorothy. Post haste. See you later, you wonderful people, you. Hey! <laughs> Wow, his spirit certainly lifted fast. Also, he got sober really fast. Well, he was chasing a big story pretty unsuccessfully until we came along. It's only natural. I'm glad we could help him out. Well, look at you from Mr. I'll break your kneecaps if you don't talk to Mr. Nice Guy in under a minute. Talk about a split personality. Stop thinking weird things about me. I was just negotiating a little give and take. Nothing more. <laughs> a bad boy exterior with a good boy inside. Or it's the other way around. Either way, I'm sure the girls love it. But anyway, I'm, I'm guess we've only really dealt with scrupulous people thus far. We're pretty lucky in that regard. Start dealing with weirdos, and that's when you start need to bust out some really questionable negotiation techniques. Why are you looking at me when you said that? Anyway, that aside, was anyone else a little bothered when y'all said about that huge flying shadow thing? The eyewitness report from Revenue? I'd say there's a strong chance there's nothing to it, but the army already checked it out. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like the army's totally infallible or something. They could have missed something. It wasn't General Morgan himself, after all, but one of his men, and some of these guys can be pretty thick-headed. That is true. Probably worth looking into. Certainly can't hurt at any rate. Heh, <laughs> you two are starting to get the hang of this, I see. I think this is a splendid idea. Let's head to Revenue, shall we? Got it! I think I've been there all already by doing side quests in my spare time. 
Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hold on. I know there's a way I can open up a map. Uh, liberal map. Uh, X button. Zoom in. Yep, I've already been there. And, uh, it was for a side quest. But I did the side quest off screen. Oops. Shit. But I did the side quest off screen. So, there's no reason for you guys to worry about it. Um, wait, I need to go west. My fucking bad. So we just go to go west. I'm sorry for the shitty framework, but I'm recording at 30 frames and the game runs at 60. Oh crap, I didn't mean to hit the monster. I already, I already did my fair share of grinding before this, so that's already good. God, it's bright outside! I really wish my blinds did a better job of blocking the sun. Hang on, I think I have, I think I have, a, I think I have an idea. Well, my idea didn't work. I also got some water for myself, because, you know, I need it, because I talk a lot. But yeah, I can't do anything about the, about the background, because, you know, I can't do anything about it. Anyway, oh god, I keep forgetting that I'm playing on a uh, thingy. Anyway, uh, so let's go to Ravenue. I should stop playing with the camera angle, because I'm going to get myself lost. All the monsters on this road are pretty weak compared to me, compared to the party now. So, I went backwards, didn't I? Fuck. Uh. All the monsters on the road are pretty weak compar in comparison to my party now. Shit! Seriously, I'm only getting 3 XP points per battle. And like, that's how much I grinded. I did like, side quests and shit. And, oh god. I just got so much experience and like, a good amount of money and like, I uh, fucking upgraded my gear. I'm just too strong now. That's, that's just it, I'm just too strong now. Hashtag too strong. I should stop doing hashtags. It's, there, oh, it's revenue up here? Yep. Woo! Not that far. Oh god, I forgot about the revenue trail. Huh? Who's this guy? <gasps> He's an anime character! Also, who did the art for this game? Oh. I should have said his line. <laughs> Sherazad, is that you? Oh, this is an unlikely place to run into the Silver Streak. Right back at ya. I thought you were in the Royal City, but here you are looking- What, are you here to look into the airliner incident? No, I'm here on some dumb chump errand. <sighs> but speaking of the incident, here it was the work of some Sky Bandits. Anyway, if you're here on the job, then I guess I don't have to worry about it myself. Good luck to you. Is all you got to say? I'm sure you've heard that Cassius might have been taken hostage, right? Cash is bright. Taken hostage? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The old man's not gonna get beaten by the likes of some sky bandits. Anybody saying that is severely mistaken. I'd like to believe that too, but... I wonder who this guy is. I don't know, but he seems uh, uh, to fit the mold of a bracer. By the way, who are these brats you got tagging along with you? They look like a bunch of newbies to me. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be surprised if they hear that these brats are Cassius's kids. Yeah, that's a surprise, alright. So these are the old man's kids, huh? Huh, hard to believe it. So why are you looking at us like that? The boy with the black hair is one thing, but the girl really looks like an amateur. Are she just really cash as a daughter? Why don't you send that again with my staff in your teeth? She's a butterfly daughter, daughter of Cash's Bright, and I have to warn you, her bite is, bite is as good as her bark. I'm just, and I'm just a, his adopted son. Huh, is that a fact? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Well, take it easy, Sherazad. Be careful to let these brats drag you down. Yeah, yeah. And make sure not to rush into any trouble yourself, either. Huh. I'll keep those words in mind. Oh, by the way, Sherazad. Was it you who took care of the monster near the mine? Yeah. Well, actually, it wasn't just me. It was us. Huh. I didn't think any number of trainees would have made that much difference. But anyway, good luck in your search for those sky bandits. Later. We're full-fledged brazers, you bitch! What's with that guy? He really pisses me off. I see, so that was Heavy Blade Agate, huh? Heavy Blade Agate? What a stupid name. Agate Crossner, a senior bracer in the Bracer Guild. He works in all regions that isn't affiliated with any specific branch. His massive blade is said to be capable of slicing a monster in two with a single slash. Let's just tell you right now, he's one tough customer. Whatever, I don't care how, how tough he is, he's still a rude, he's still a rude jerk. Come to think of it, how does he know Dad anyway? He does seem to think highly of Dad's ability, but even so, he didn't seem to like him all, all that much. There are a number of things this past I can't go into. 
and those things are a reason why he feels that way about your father. Huh. But I care less about someone rude like that. Anyway, let's hurry to Ravenue Village. Well, this is interesting. Uh, I think Ravenue is this way, correct? I forgot the Ravenue- Ah, oh, bugs! Oh, there we go. See, I'm, like, I'm not getting any worthwhile experience. I mean, the Sepith is nice, but I don't need it right now. Oh, what was I saying? God, fuck it, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, like, this is the Ravenue Road. Oh, God. I forgot, I genuinely forgot what I was saying. But yeah, there's a lot of characters in this game, and the party will change every so often. So I think he joins the party at one point. I don't know when, but you know he does. All right, let's see what we can find out about the sighting. So what do you suggest? Should we, should, should we go talk to all the villagers? People who would be suspicious of what, us if we did all that all of a sudden. I think we should talk to the village elder first and see what he has to say about it. Okay, I know where he is. Uh, I know where he is, cause we met him before. I talked to him about a side quest before. Elder! Where are you? I forget where he is. <laughs> I, and I just finished saying I knew where he was. Uh, God, I can see the frame rate uh, jump in the recording from here. It's disgusting. I missed the door. These are the stairs. Wait, is he back there? I think he's back there. How do I get back there? There we go. Here. Here! Oh, why am I going out? God damn it. Stupid sensitive controls. That is a woman. This is a man. Hmm, I see you're all together. What brings you up here today? Are you here for a visit? No, not exactly. We're actually here on business. Although if it's possible, I'd really like a glass of your fruit or wine. Ho ho ho! Things in the world I never... Things in the world never go like you expect, do they? By the way, I never got a chance to ask you until now, but... You don't have to be one of Agate's companions, do you? Well, we're all members of the same guild, but we're not companions, exactly. We know him by face, and that's probably about it. I see. So he's traveling by himself as usual, huh? The village elder closed his eyes for a moment as a look of sadness passed over his aged features. Huh? What's wrong, sir? It's nothing, really. Please pardon my expression. Anyway, what brings you to this rural, rural vis 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 village of ours? I hate the word rural. It's just so awkward to say. God, it's warm. Don't tell me that you're here to take care of that monster I sent the request to the guild for. No, actually, we're in the middle of an investigation concerning the missing airliner. I think I fought that monster already. Didn't I? I think I fought it already. We came here because we heard there was some kind of a report of some kind of sighting. Ah, I see. The Royal Army came here and investigated that the other day. However, they searched around the area and ended up leaving empty-handed. Really? Is that so? Well, what about the person who saw the flying silhouette in the sky? He was one of the children in the village here, a boy named Louis. He apparently saw some suspicious shadow making it way across the sky on the night of the incident. But he's a kid, and any way you think about it, so he may have imagined the whole thing while he was half asleep. Imagined it, huh? I guess it's the best we could do. With it. I guess the best thing we could do is ask him directly. I always hate like what I'm reading. Like I'm a really like fast reader, if, especially if it's simple language like this. Like so, I read really fast, so I see all the words at once, and my mind is like, okay, I know what it says, but my mouth is like, I can't keep up. Ugh, I hate reading. Huh, you're probably right about that. Thank you for your time, sir. I should not have said I hate reading. I love reading. I just hate reading out loud because my eyes are too fast. Don't mention it. If there's anything else I can help you with, don't hesitate to ask. We need to find Louie! Is there Huey and Dewey in this game as well? Uh, I don't know where this Louie is. But he sounds disappointing. There's a, there's a bouquet here with a, next to a large um, grave. That's sad. Okay, so where are these kids? Are there kids in here? <laughs> Show me your kids! No one gets hurt. Give me a kid! That's an old man. <laughs> that is a small child. Found it. <laughs> huh? I haven't seen you guys around here before. Are you merchants here to buy fruit? Actually, no. We're here for a different reason. As a matter of fact, we're bracers. Bracers? You mean like agate? I don't know, you don't look all that strong to me, especially because you're a girl. Sexist overtones! Seriously, like, 
if it's one thing to like have commentary on on like society, video games, and and, and their view on like like sexism and uh, and gender and things like that, but when you do it like this, it kind of detracts from it because you're pointing it out. Don't point it out. Just say it's. And he, but then again, he's a boy, so I guess that he would totally believe that if he was raised to believe that. I was raised to believe that, but also I also have learned slowly that girls can do whatever the hell they want and are pretty self-sufficient if you let them and not coddle them like most of society. Even then, society doesn't coddle them. They just want women to do what they want. What they want. Jesus Christ, I burped. It's mostly water, though. Ugh, why don't you tell me how you really feel? But I have to see my grade school with a staff. Do you think you could still call me weak? Don't show up for the child! Wow, that's amazing! It's like a tornado! I like how it actually has, um, sound effects. I used to have a staff, but it broke a long, long time ago. But I do have other things. Hold on. Here's a sword that I had for martial arts class. I, I trained with it. Um, it's, it, it's, it's made of plastic, but it's supposed to be heavy to simulate the actual weight of the sword. But it's honestly not that heavy. Here's another sword I bought at an anime convention. Look at it. Oh god, like that article I saw of the guy that like scared off a burglar with with this I'm just like ah, but it's honestly not that heavy. You could probably swing it around It'd Probably make a decent weapon Except for the fact that it's made of plywood actually not, not even plywood. It's actually pretty decent wood Hand-painted it hasn't even faded in all honesty. It was pretty this is pretty well made even though it was just a it's just a freaking cheap uh, uh, Con prop like, it's actually not that bad. You could probably, like, hurt someone with this if you really wanted to. Uh... It's actually not that not that poorly made. It's cheaply made, probably, but it's not poor. It was pretty good quality. Uh, I had nunchucks at one point, but I don't know where they went. I can't find them. Like, I had, like, real-ass nunchucks. I, I knew how to, and I know how to use them too. Like I, I, I trained with nunchucks when I did martial arts classes. I just don't know where they went. It's a shame. It's a darn shame. One day I'll find them. But anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I hope you've learned your lesson. But looks can be deceiving. How much time I got left? A few minutes. Now about another amazing demonstration with my staff. Estelle, be careful. Wasn't it just yesterday that you hit yourself in the face doing that? Anyway, are you Louie, by chance? Oh, uh, yeah. But how'd you know my name? We heard from the village elder that you said you saw, you saw some kind of flying shadow. Do you think you could tell us a little bit more about what you saw that night? Sure, if you want. But the soldiers from the army already searched the place and didn't find anything. That's fine, we're not worried about that. Do you think you could just tell us what you saw? It's, it's as much detail as you can remember. Okay, I'll try. You see, I like watching the stars at night. I often sneak out of my house at night to look he come here and look at the stars. And the other night when I was out here looking up at the stars, I saw two shadows moving across the sky. Now hold on a minute here. You say you saw two shadows? Yeah, that's right. They were different sizes too, kind of like a mom leading a kid. Two shadows. Two sizes. That's consistent with the airliner and sky bandit ship airship if you think about it. Yeah, the aircraft we ran across in the woods we was definitely smaller than a typical airliner. And the two shadows just kept on flying north, until I couldn't see them anymore. So north is... The trail that continues behind the village. At least with old Septa Mine, which was abandoned some time ago. The soldiers from the army supposedly searched the trail, but didn't come up with anything. That's when they said I must have been dreaming. And they laughed at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. The little boy's eyes are... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the little boy's eyes start to well up with tears. Poor boy. Ah, uh, enough of that. You're a boy, right? Boys don't cry. You point out that, like, girls can do whatever the hell they want, but you're also saying guys can't be emotional. Come on! You can't have your cake and eat it too, game devs. Boys can cry. I've cried in the past. One time I was drunk and I cried. <laughs> but yes, guys can cry. It's a good thing. It, like, you, like, guys should not, like, suppress their emotions and keep them in. If you gotta cry, you gotta cry. Just do it. Even if, you, if, if you're ashamed of crying in public, just find a private place and cry there. Just do it. Like, just, just have a good cry. Crying is, is, is the body's way of, an, of emotionally resetting. So it can, like, keep functioning later. That's what they're for. We're not like those stupid soldiers. 
We don't think you're telling a lie either, and we're gonna prove it. R really? Darn straight. You just leave it to us. So no more crying, okay? Okay. You're a real nice person. <laughs> As usual, she's just got a knack with the kids. Yeah, maybe a it's a virtue. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Let's focus on the task at hand. Looks like we got stuff to do. Right. Let's hurry and get into the trail behind the village and see what we can find. All right, guys, we have to end this part here. I I've been recording for thirty minutes and I have to end this part here now. And it's a pretty decent place to end. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to get back into the swing of things. As you guys know, I've been stockpiling videos for like almost a month now, and uh, hopefully, um, I at this point I'm uploading regularly and uh, recording at my leisure, so I can like uh, just not deal with it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me. Hit uh, hit that subscribe button or follow button if you're on um, VidMe and you're not using the Shadyverse. My name is Shades and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys next time. Bye.